Hi TVS, welcome back to my next video on VHDL language. Thank you for subscribing my channel. It was like 4, 945 in my previous video, but with your love, I have increased to 947. Three subscribers I have increased one for one day. So I wish my great motivator, my belief, everything. Wish you a happy birthday, Anita. So this is the video. I'm making on your birthday so that's the reason I have kept it so okay let us start our main topic so that is nothing but your CMOS NAND gate so in this I have already told you C is nothing but your complemented output you will be getting so NAND in if you see the boolean function of a NAND gate then you can find F is equals to A dot B bar so the output of this is already complemented so that's the reason we need not have a not get as usual you in my previous video you have seen that there was a not get here right i don't have here not get right now so the not get is not required because already we are getting a complemented output so that is the thing now let us discuss about by taking one of the truth table value and then we will implement it so as usual i have told you about ppp concept three piece concept parallel if there is a product a parallel product PMOS okay parallelly connect product terms in PMOS okay or PMOS should be connected parallelly okay if, if there is any product so that is the thing so now what I am doing you can able to see a dot b means a dot b is nothing but your PMOS here I have a dot product so PMOS should be connected in parallel and the NMOS should be connected in series so that is the thing so I have done it here now let us see the connections how we have connected and those things so if you have not subscribed my channel till now please subscribe this channel and give me support support my channel so that i can support you it will be support helpful for me to grow more grow my channel and also to make this kind of videos more interesting videos da daily you can able to see from last few months i have decreased my views because de decrease my videos because there is there was no support for me so that's the reason so no one was subscribing my channel nowhere was showing interest to my chat towards my channel that's the reason i have decreased my views so let us discuss these things some other day okay in my vlogs i will be discussing about these things so today we will see this this topic okay so basically cmos we require only four gates four mosses to tell to implement it okay by seeing you by you can see the ppp concept by saying pppcp concept pmos product term as usual i have told you this is will be in product okay is which are connected in parallel and your nmos will be connected in series and both a and b are connected one to one to pmos and one to nmos and b one to pmos and one nmos that is how you have connected now let us take one of the example like low low and high this example will see low low nothing but zero and zero will give at input of a and b and then we'll see what will be my output okay for pmos you have already known if i give zero i'll be getting logic one nothing but your gate is short so both are short your vvdd will comes out and your nmos is nothing but your in zero zero it will not work so it is like open circuit so it is crossed so all the vdd will be going going out to f so this is how your works uh nand gate using this diagram you can able to see so similarly you can see other logics also and in my previous videos i have told you i was started if you see of not not get not and gate i have started with the third one then or gate in my next video i will be t telling the last one hhl okay every video i'll be telling one one by one okay so this is all overall the video you can able to know now let us see dsch okay i am telling you again friends if you if you face difficulty in finding this software dsch please comment me i faced a lot of struggle when i was not getting this software from way to download and those kind of things so now if you tell me i can directly provide you the link okay so if you are facing problem just comment below i am there to help you out i'm always there okay so now let us implement it as usual you have seen that the my pmos were connected in parallel fashion 
and your inverse wire connector in series fashion let me connect all those modules right now see see in full view okay don't see in a small size windows and on youtube youtube how it provides see in full screen so that you will be getting everything clear it will be clear for you so now let us connect i have taken my pmos and nmos and two inputs and one output which is nothing but your led now let us take a wire and let me connect all the pmos and nmos okay so i have connected my a and anything let me connect first of all the pmos nothing but your series connection and let me connect your nmos that is nothing but your uh, PMOS nothing but your parallel connection series connection is your NMOS and let me connect this B part also okay let me take it I can overlap it no problem but there should not be any node okay that is the only thing we need to understand if we connect like this no 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 let us connect it in clear way okay so you can see the connections how we are making it off and how I am doing you can do it the connections now let us add vcc and ground you can know that my output is always taken in the cmos in between of your pmos and nmos okay so that's the reason i have taken in between of them let me connect your ground let me connect your vcc so this is what your connection is made you can see only four transistors are required for to implement an nand gate okay so now what i can do i will run the as usual i will run the v module right and let me see the two table you can able to see only at high high it will be low and remaining all will be high okay if, I, if both the inputs are high then only it will be low so now let us verify it run the module you can able to see all the high any one is also high then it's high if both are high then only it will be low this is how you are will be getting your output and that is a true table for your NAND gate also and let us see let us stop the simulation and let us see the timing diagram this is the circuit timing diagram okay what are the inputs you have given those kind of things you can able to see from here okay let me see the Verilog file this is your Verilog file where I have shown you 0 0.5 micrometers was the width and channel width those kind of things was present hope you have understood this video and everything I have made it clear for you by the in this video if you know the logic how to implement a boolean function in your cmos i will be discussing it in very one fine day i will be discussing how to implement that so till then stay tuned to my channel and remember the 3p concepts because that will be used in every video okay thank you subscribe my channel support my channel have a nice day bye